Hey guys, Dr. Scotty here with Strength Rebels. Uh, I just want to talk to you today about what I think we miss the boat on almost time and time and time again in rehab uh, and in fitness in general, but particularly rehab uh, coming from a physiotherapy perspective. It's the power of strength and the importance of strength in a rehab program. So let me just illustrate what I'm talking about here. What we typically do is what we would see more on this left hand side, okay? so. This uh, outer circle here represents our potential, our potential improvement for function or, or uh, regaining uh, health or regaining, uh, uh, recovering from injury or whatever it happens to be, okay? What we tend to do, and I think we would all argue that movement to a certain extent is important, whether you do it, how you do it, I think we can argue all that, but having a good foundation for moving in either a biomechanically appropriate way for the movement pattern or movement resiliency for doing a variety of movements or trying to basically take things and uh, calm things down from a rehab or an injury perspective. We do have a foundation that we work on and that foundation is really important. What we typically do from a rehab perspective is then progress that, right? So we would take a movement that someone's doing, train someone to do, do a movement, and then they, we might load it a little bit progressively. But often what we then do is we then translate that into something else. So we say, okay, let's start doing some agility work, or let's start doing some power work, or let's get do, doing some functional activities, in quotation marks, this is the F word, functional activities, um, endurance type work specific physical prep stuff. So this is the sport specific or task specific stuff that often happens right after we develop some initial movement foundation. We're missing the boat if we don't add strength training into that, okay? So let me show you what I mean. Remember this outer circle is our potential. So movement foundation, we still have that there. But if we can create a foundation or a structure that builds upon that movement foundation, then our potential for improvement and all these other things goes up. These are the application pieces, the application of strength. It's not strength in and of itself. I don't care if you're loading a single leg BOSU ball with a TheraBand on it type activity. That's not strength. That's function. That's specific prep. That's not strength training. If we can develop a good foundation, push this outer circle out with strength, what that allows us to do is take these specific physical prep ideas and have a bigger potential outcome. The kicker with this and the key is most of these activities have a top end. Most of these activities are not trainable infinitely. The one that is, is strength. So if we can develop good movement, increase someone's strength and their ability to strength train throughout their entire life, then all of these application pieces get easier you can do them with uh, uh, less risk or less potential for injury or at least mitigate that risk. Uh, the potential for increasing function, the potential for increasing endurance, agility, all of these things. Put balance in here. You know, how often do we really do good quality strength training in older adults from a balance and falls pre prevention perspective? We often do the movement and then jump straight to the balance and the, act and the agility type stuff. Add the strength in, the potential goes way up. That's it for now.